Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, how to read HTML form data using uh, get parameter names method of uh, HTTP request object. Okay. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, Sarlet form data introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, I have created the project called uh, Sarlet form uh, read all params. Uh, to explain this one uh, what I will do is I will build this project now and I am going to deploy in uh, Tomcat file click on export select war file browse and I am placing the war file inside the uh, Tomcat uh, web apps folder ok and clicking on finish uh, I have placed a uh, war file inside the web apps folder of uh, Tomcat. Uh, now what I will do is I will uh, start the server. Mm, server has been started. Uh, now I am going to access the web application using this URL. So once I enter, uh, it will display the index.html content. Uh, index.html is a welcome page. So when I access this uh, URL, automatically the welcome page uh, information will be displayed. Okay. So I'm opening index.html uh, file. So this is the file, and it has uh, order pizza link. When you click on that one, it will open uh, pizza.html uh, uh, file content. Okay. So I'm clicking. Uh, order pizza link so it opens uh, pizza html uh, file information okay i'm opening uh, pizza.html uh, here so it has uh, html uh, form and uh, once you click on uh, submit button then uh, the request will go to the server and the action is uh, read all params this is nothing but a url pattern and the method is get okay So what I am going to do is I will fill the form and uh, uh, submit this form. Uh, before that what I will do is I will enable the uh, web developer uh, developer toolbar. Okay. Uh, now I am going to enter the values in uh, pizza order form. From thin crust toppings peas paneer pineapple veg soup address 28 13th street new delhi Mastercard, credit card number 123, repeat credit card number 123. Okay, so I entered uh, this uh, pizza order form. Uh, now I'm clicking on uh, order pizza button. So once I click this uh, button, uh, request goes to the server and uh, server will forward uh, the request to the web container or uh, servlet container. Uh, the servlet container will uh, identify the corresponding servlet which can handle the request and process the request and it will uh, send response back to the client and the client display this information okay so we will see uh, what uh, request went to the server and uh, what response we got okay i am clicking on uh, get here and you can see the request url okay and request method is get and status code 200 and uh, status code 200 meaning server has uh, processed the request uh, successfully and it sends uh, uh, response back to the uh, client okay and here you can see the request header and uh, response headers okay and uh, i'm clicking on uh, response so this is the response uh, we got from the server though so client uh, interpret uh, this information and uh, 
display in a nice way here okay and I'm clicking on params so these are the parameters uh, which is passed from client machine to the server machine okay now we will see how to read this uh, uh, parameter uh, information uh, in the code and uh, display here okay uh, so I used uh, get method so that you are seeing all the parameters uh, in the address bar itself parameter and the corresponding values okay so if you see this one this uh, read all params you can see here read all params so this is the URL pattern okay so using this URL pattern uh, servlet container will check in web.xml what is the corresponding uh, servlet so in this case uh, corresponding servlet is uh, read all params uh, servlet okay so it will load this servlet and it will uh, uh, basically it will load this uh, servlet class and uh, it will call the init method of uh, this servlet class to initialize that one then it will uh, call the uh, do get method because uh, in pisa.html we specified method as uh, get so it will call the uh, do get method of uh, read all params uh, servlet and uh, this uh, do get method will process the request and uh, uh, prepare the response and send the response back to the client okay so now we'll see what is there in uh, read all params uh, servlet okay uh, it has uh, init method uh, so which will be called by the servlet container to initialize this servlet and uh, it has uh, do get method uh, so this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to process the request okay so here uh, what we are doing is uh, uh, we are uh, getting all parameter names using request dot get parameter uh, names method so it will return uh, parameter names as a enumeration then uh, what we have to do is we have to iterate the parameter names enumeration and get each parameter name and pass it to the uh, request dot uh, get parameter values method okay this will return parameter values as a string array then uh, we have to just iterate uh, parameter value string array and get the corresponding uh, value of uh, each uh, parameter okay so whatever uh, parameter names and parameter values we are getting we are uh, writing in the print writer object okay so this is a print writer object which we got from the response uh, finally the response will uh, go to the client and uh, the response you are seeing in the tabular uh, format here okay and uh, next method is uh, do post method uh, if uh, post request comes uh, then it will just call the do get method to process the uh, request okay and uh, one more method is a final method which is uh, destroy this method will be called uh, uh, when the server shut down or uh, servlet is uh, taken out of uh, service okay okay now I will uh, shut down the server and I will show you you can see uh, destroy method has been called uh, and the servlet is destroyed so when the server is shut down the servlet is uh, taken out of service the time uh, destroy method has been called okay and uh, this is about uh, how to read HTML form data using uh, get parameter uh, names method of uh, servlet request object and uh, thanks for watching bye